Hey, welcome back to another copy AI AI writing demo. My name is Andrew Lane, and today we're going to go through a demo showing you how to write emails quickly with copy AI. And then I'm going to share at the end seven sales page copywriting tips to increase sales. And today we are joined by Bridget Cash from uh, bodybybridget.com. How are you doing, Bridget? I'm great. Enjoying a little rain here in Texas today. I know it's much needed. So, uh, perfect day to get some writing done. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Thank you for having me on today. I appreciate all the help and I love Copy AI. I know you've been um, having some fun with it. If you guys go check out bodybybridget.com, you'll see she's getting a lot of her, uh, her new online business together, launching mm -hmm. courses and coaching programs. So, uh, a real quick background we did a uh, demo a few weeks ago, getting you kind of caught up or introduced to copy AI. Right. Tell me your experience so far using it. Uh, you've, I know you've been writing a lot of stuff to promote your new course. Yes. How's it been going for you? It's been going great. I absolutely love copy AI. I think it uh, makes me sound so professional. Um, my, one of my strengths are one of my weaknesses, I guess, it's not really my strength, is writing copy. And so I love the fact that I can just pick some topics, I can put in a little description, um, and voila, I sound <laughs> super smart and genius, and it sounds so amazing, and so I love it. Love that. Well, let's let's write some, uh, some emails today. So yes. you are in the process now of doing a little bit more um, engagement with your audience, your new customers, or people right. subscribing to your newsletter, and you want to get content out on a regular basis yes. to um, get them to pay attention to, to what you're talking about and take action. Yes. So let's try writing an email real quick. I'm gonna we're gonna do a quick demo today, about 10, 15 minutes, and see what we can get done. Mostly just to get you on the right track, so you can do this yourself. Okay. So a few ways to get started. Uh, when you log into Copy AI, you can create a new project. And it will look like this when you open it up. What I recommend though is check out the templates. So over here on the left, there are templates that can get you moving in the right direction. If we okay. click on templates, and I'm gonna go full screen on this, you will see uh, categories of different templates to start with. The email one is an obvious place to get in there and check out. A few different ones here to get you on the right track. So welcome emails, this is great for if they, you know, Someone who just joined your newsletter, you can use a welcome email to thank them or if they buy a product from you or sign up for a program. Quick way to get started there. If you want to do a quick promotion, um, recurring email newsletter, a lot of different options here. <clears throat> and what's cool is if we do, let's say in this case, a recurring email newsletter for you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to update current project. So what that will do is I will load in this template into the current project that I'm on. Or if I want to start a new project, I can do that as well. Okay. And all that does is it opens up the freestyle tool and then it preloads these inputs. So what are you looking to create an email newsletter? What are the main points you want to cover? Pretty simple template, right? This is really just topic, some key points you want to hit. Okay. Now we can try a basic version of this. What I'm going to point out is this is a good starting point, but you can get a little bit more advanced by adding additional context. So we've had success adding things like who this is for, who this is from, uh, what the purpose of the email is. You can tell it to write in pers first person point of view. We've even given it inputs like uh, the structure, you know, start with a benefit, relate to the pain point, share a helpful tip to overcome their problem, inspire them to take action. These are really fun when you see it <laughs> weaving together your ideas really quickly into an email. So is this, um, is this something you created or is this already in uh, copy AI? This yeah. So over, over here is uh, the, the templates. Okay. So you can, you can keep it simple and we could try both. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced from some of the testing we've done. Okay. You can so actually, you okay. Yeah. This is stuff that you can, uh, we've played around with these kind of um, inputs and that's really what you're working with. So let's go ahead and just do a quick, easy version. Got which it. is an email newsletter, the topic. I know you gave me some points over here. Yes. So I can grab some of this. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And to get people up to speed, you did a Facebook Live on mindset. Yes. Uh, the difference between, let's just do this right here. 
mindset tip of the week. So that would actually be a good one. Key points. I'll just put that in here as key point. Um, topic. Key points. You can rattle off a few different things here. Maybe just off the top of your head. Um, you can change. You can go remember that. Learning and growing. Mm -hmm. How about a couple of these points? Yes, I like those. Learning and growing is literally life. Remembering that words are powerful, that statement above, like, like there's power in words. Yeah, words are powerful. Maybe like self-talk is the key. Mm -hmm. Or do you say it to yourself and others? I'll put that in there. Uh, let's see, be positive. Uh, I'll just put that whole thing in there. Okay. So it's really just getting the main points you want to hit. That might be enough right there. Okay. Uh, friendly is a good default tone. You can get really creative with your tones here if you want. I think friendly fits in this case. Mm -hmm. And let's just write copy. So given it this much input, it's pretty broad. You know, it's going to assume a lot of things and that's where you can see the the outputs and if they're not working for you you can add some more details happy wednesday so it's making up maybe like every wednesday you send it out that's kind yeah. of fun intro i can just feel empowered no matter what challenges come your way uh -huh. all right so it's kind of getting there it's i see even the first result you could copy and paste that and maybe get your email started. That would give you some. Right. And with this email, would you put in there, um, because I do have a video that goes with it. Mm -hmm. You would make sure to put in there, like watch this video for more detailed description or more information. Exactly. So that's the next step. So if you were to just okay. use the, the default template, you're going to get, you know, pretty generic kind of emails, just putting some points in there. It mm -hmm. understands what you're trying to do a little bit, but this is where we can get a little bit more specific. So if we were to use some of these things here, like uh, the purpose, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and put something like this and say, persuade the reader to um, watch the video, uh, yeah. to click the link and watch the video. And then you can say who this is from. Now it'll be more personalized. Um, let's do... That. Uh, you can even say who this is for. Uh, you could say like um, subscribers on my email list. Let's see here. Yeah, subscribers for my newsletter. I mean, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, my newsletter subscribers who are interested in um, what might you put there? Interested in um, my course? Uh, maybe more like um, interested. They may not be yet. Like they're yeah. interested in like feeling better, like having a more powerful, like just some of the big takeaways that you help them got move towards yeah. feeling like interested in um, creating positive self talk, or interested in freedom. You know, freedom from the negative self-talk negative energy let's think further like um i know you do like mind body fitness like feeling better um feeling um and happier and more positive or feeling more joy and purpose there you go through and this is where we can kind of give the ai some pointers like through okay mindset and like physical wellness or something like that through fitness and mindset training through mind, body, and spirit. There you go. Mind, body, and spirit. So getting the uh, enough context as to what's going on here, who you are is going to help it write better. Gotcha. And this is again, more advanced, but you saw the quick win is it'll write really good stuff, but like, is that super fine tuned? Not quite. So purpose, um, watch the video. I'm going to do something like 
CTA, which is call to action. And here, let's say, um, watch, watch the full training. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right. And now let's see if there's anything else we want to add in here. We can try the structure. Uh, we can also do written in first person. So I'll, I'll pop that in there. Topic, mindset tip of the week, who it's from. So we still have a lot of room to work with. We could add more context, but let's try writing that and see what it comes up with. Okay. And then if we're not liking the structure, we can actually add in specific things that we wanted to do to like end with like a you know funny joke or something and it may try to get that it's not always the best at coming up with stuff but that's funny in with the funny joke I'm <laughs> curious what it comes up with <laughs> all right so this is a pretty simple email mindset is everything the difference between <laughs> an actress turned wellness coach interesting <laughs> what um, <laughs> And sometimes it'll try to flatter you and sell yourself. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> so so insert something interesting here is what I would say. Like some things are placeholders. The AI is trying to make yeah. this more interesting to your audience or like bring in a fun fact about you is what I'm seeing. She she didn't make it in acting. So here she is as a wellness coach. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of those out there. <laughs> and that's where you could give it some bio. So I know you had some like yeah. descriptors up here, 30 years in health and wellness, like these things may be interesting, but like this isn't really no. needed in this email, yeah. right? That's kind of going overboard unless it was like, hey, get to know me email. Right. Okay. They fuel us. And these uh, words are negative. They can shut us down. Negativity breeds negativity. So practice being intentional yourself. I watched this video for more tips on how to shift your mindset. All right. That's okay. Let's see if um, there's another one yeah. here. All right. That's definitely that's grabbing their attention. Yeah. Turn on the light switch of positivity when you're not feeling it yourself. Ooh. I, I'm liking this one better. It's just one of my many positive mindset tips I'll be sharing with you. A full training will be, okay, so they missing the point there a little bit. But yeah. But there's pieces that I do like in that one. Yeah. Yeah. So what you can do then is, you know, save that for later, or you can start to kind of craft your email over here on the side. So we'll say uh, email. And now we can grab some of that. And mm -hmm. even right here is probably good. Yeah. Like, and so we're going that from bottom paragraph right there. It's pretty good. Okay, nice. Yeah. So the idea of copy AI is we're getting the, your ideas woven together and seeing different ways of saying it, right? And grabbing their attention. Yeah. It's gonna be tough, especially when you're hitting up against a wall or doubting yourself. But you know what? There's hope. Yes. I like that. You just too. need to learn the right mindset to get you there. There's actually science behind this. So don't take my word yes. for it. Watch the video I made. Oh, I like that. Pretty good, right? Yeah, that one's really good. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's about as fast as it can be. Your emails don't right. need to be crazy dense. Right. Because I want them to watch the video. I mean, the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the beauty is what you also wrote is a social media post because it's basically the same thing. Yay. So now you're promoting, right? You're getting the message out there. And that's always hard. You, you create some content. Yeah. How do you get it out there in a way that's interesting and mm -hmm. speaking like from your brand voice and connecting with your reader or your audience? Any other questions on this? No, I think that's lovely. Uh, are you going to share all that with me later? <laughs> no, I'm keeping it from you. No, <laughs> we'll go ahead and keep it. Uh, I'll send it over to you for sure. Okay. Let me see if there's any questions on that. Yeah, that was very helpful. Uh, question here uh, about it cutting out mid sentence. Is there a way to make it continue? Not yet. The team's working on that. So in the very near future, the team's going to help uh, continue or finish up those ideas. Sometimes the output gets cut off because there are limits with some of the AI tools here right now where it's limited to how much it can write. So what we generally recommend is oftentimes you can just scan through all the different outputs and kind of grab like, oh, I like the intro of that one. I like the ending of that one. So that's how we get around it now. In the future, the team's going to have a lot more ways of fine tuning or expanding and editing some of these outputs. But I like to just, you know, really as a think of yourself as the customer who is consuming your content, you know, scan through like, oh, what if I told you that's that really grabbed my attention? Mm 
Mm-hmm. And then what's the cool, cool uh, ending? Like, I'll give you a hint. Like that's like grabbing that. my curiosity. Yeah. And then yeah. some of these are more formatted, like, hey, blank, you know, you can put in their, their first name there. <laughs> Next training is on my tech. Kind of random, right? No, not really. Um, but let's like, <laughs> let me ask you. So pulling out some bits here, it may help you help you come up with some social media ideas. Like, let me ask you something. Yeah. And I do like, um, especially on social media, they've had some great, um, when I've put in, um, you know, just a few things for a social media post that I've gotten some great copy out of this. Um, so it is very helpful. Yeah. I mean, it's super fun to like, see your ideas written out in different ways. My last email on yoga. So maybe like, oh, if you, this is a recurring email right. uh, newsletter, you could say, oh, well, it, placeholder here of what my last email was about. Yep. I like that too. I love chanting. I love myself a lot. It's super easy. (laughs) So let's try something else that may be useful. That was an email newsletter, but what's really cool is very quickly, you could try putting something different in here. So what are you looking to create? You could say a social media post. You could say, um, well, you know, let's try one more thing here because I wanted to show you. Hey Wes, what's up? Thoroughly enjoyed this walkthrough. I appreciate that. Thanks. Bye. All right. Let's try adding those, um, the structure here. This is kind of fun. If you really want to maybe have the same format every week where you're mm-hmm. hitting like, Hey, just connection or, you know, get them excited about something and then relate to them. That's what we found with these additional inputs you can add. So let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. And I'm just going to add in a section down here. Let me just structure that and basically you could have the same input every week so what i did here is i just added structure and then boom start with the benefit relate to the pain point share a helpful tip inspire them to take action you know (laughs) (laughs) all right let's see what it does (laughs) let's see how different it is all right so i'll create copy and now the same inputs and this is what's beautiful is basically the next email you send you're really just going to change some of these details or the key points right right here that's really all you have to change yes right so let's see what it came up with here feeling afraid so it's definitely telling like a personal story i don't know where this is going so let's move on (laughs) (laughs) yourself sounds like i can't do that or i'm not good enough and this video is for you let's talk mindset Ooh, like dropped an imaginary link here. So placeholder link. Hmm. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Feel stuck or lost because you focus on the wrong things. Yeah. So that's the example of it kind of ending there. It's like, okay, maybe we'll find a different ending that would um, work. All right. So it's just thanking them. You're part of my maze community. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah. Learning and growth. Yeah. Okay. So it's not quite following the formula that we gave it, but it, it does seem to be hitting some of these points. Um, so important. So maybe talking about the benefits, but a lot of times we get, so now it's going to relate to the pain point. Uh, then it's going to helpful tips. So you see the structure we gave it. It's actually following it. Right. It's just kind of all together. Yeah. Yeah. The benefit or the, the bigger idea, the relating to the pain point, helpful tip, um, mm-hmm. trying a new recipe, trying to type of workout. So it's giving some tips here. Whatever the activity made, the point is do something to help you grow as a person. If you want more information, not bad. Yeah. So I'm going to save a couple of these. Yeah. We saved that one. I'll just save that. Yeah. Happy Friday. <laughs> So it seems like it's probably a good idea, I would think, um, Andrew, is like if you're sending out a newsletter is maybe try to do it on a specific day and be consistent with it. Yeah, you're kind of learning how the AI is guiding you here. Yeah, Yeah, (laughs) that's a good idea. It's a good practice to get in. Just have a consistent weekly cycle. So let's try doing another one with some different points, maybe like uh, key points here. Even if we just put in, uh, let's see, another another um, tip that we might say. 
Uh, I might even go into um, goal setting, like setting goals. Setting goals will help you. Um, Accomplish your why. Ooh. Or, yeah. Help you succeed. Let's just do that. Yeah. Setting goals. Now the key points. Let's see how different the emails are because that's the goal is get it, you know, doing some testing here, getting your own formula in place. And then literally you want it to be to where every week you can just change one thing ideally. And it, yeah. And we'll write it up for you or just give this a good little paragraph, you know, like right. you can give it some more details. Setting goals. So that's a bold statement. Um, <laughs> so it is hitting the goals here. Can you relate? Setting goals, super important. Yeah, I'll show you step by step how to change your mindset. So this is assuming you have a video each week. If you don't, just take right. that out. Okay. So you'd really be changing that. The other point there is the purpose. Exactly. Yeah, and the CTA. Those would be yes. the two like unique things. So if you're doing a follow up sales email, and that's where we you can go want... ahead and say like a sales email. Um, key points. The the course is now available. Like click the link. Would you want them to instead of watching the video, like click yeah, the cl link? Click to um, sign up now. Purpose to click the link and buy the course. And then I would just add like key points about the course. But let's go ahead and just try even using that same structure. We could see what happens. Okay. So it's changing now between a newsletter email and a sales email. We're not giving a lot of information. It's going to make up what your course is, <laughs> but when you add the details, it should do a better job. Let's just see the structure. All right. It's kind of uh, selling you just with this new program, the joy of holistic living. There you go. <laughs> they just made one up. <laughs> <laughs> Best part. Okay. So it's giving you some ideas of how to sell it. Yeah. Um, been working with people to feel joy and purpose. My latest course. You're going to learn how to. Oh yeah, not bad. That, that format. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the other benefits of using AI is you can quickly go from like I don't know what to put in this to like right. oh maybe that's not accurate but it's a good template to start with. It is. Yes. Like getting them lured in with a, a question. Yes. Times are feeling happier, more fulfilled, and more connected to your life's passion. Feeling this way isn't just a pipe dream; it's a reality, a possibility for everyone. Anyone can achieve it, no matter where. Over the years, I've developed a system of tools, helped thousands of people start feeling. I like the name of the course, The Art of Joy and Purpose. <laughs> Ooh, I love the creativity, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I do like that I could just easily copy and paste. Like it does have a good structure to start with and just put in more specific points. So I like that. Perfect. Well, this was, um, you know, a few tips here to get you going. I appreciate your help today. It was very beneficial for me. And um, I think I can easily go in here now that I know exactly where to go and just click on a few things and create my emails. Perfect. Well, that was the goal today. So again, for everyone watching and for you, Bridget, freestyle tool. You can yes. find that over here by going to just typing in freestyle in the tool section on the left. Okay. And then just type in exactly what you're trying to write. It could just be a uh, a weekly newsletter email, or if you were really trying to sell something, give it details. So you're trying to sell this thing mm -hmm. and change a few variables. I would, I would really structure this, uh, get, get it down towards easy to find everything. Some things right. maybe don't need to change. Uh, we probably should have changed the topic on this one too. Yeah. Mindset tip of the week doesn't really make sense, <laughs> but, right. but give yourself a nice formula here. And now there's really no excuse. Like it can take you like five minutes to whip up an email, get your points yeah. across and get it out there. Yes, I love it. Love it. All right, Bridget. Well, thank you for thank your time. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. I'll look forward to receiving that soon. <laughs> yes, I'll get it to you today. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a blessed right. day. Bye. All right. Take care, Bridget. Nice. That was a good little demo. So let's recap what we just did there. Um, that was a demo on how to write emails quickly with Copy AI. You saw a few tips. You can use those templates to get you in the right direction. But if you're not getting what you want, just try adding more details to the input 
that are more specific to who you're talking to, what you're talking about, what you want them to do. And the more specific you can be, the less creative the AI will be, right? So it will start to like narrow in a lot more, but you see the templates uh, or the uh, the structure of the emails are really going to help you get get moving in the right direction. Even if it's not 100% correct or accurate, the AI doesn't know everything about your business, but it should get you 80% of the way there so you can grab it and run with it. All right, so next up, seven sales page copywriting tips to increase sales. I'll take a moment. Those of you watching live, if you have any questions about that last demo, email writing, let me know. Uh, if you're catching up late, just go try this out. Use the templates. And this is a great way to just get something written up. And again, emails can be repurposed into social media posts, um, even marketing, you know, sales page copy. You can use that stuff anywhere. It's really good. It's getting your ideas written out in a more compelling way. All right. Let's go back into projects here and I'm going to pull up, close this down. All right. So we've got seven tips, seven, seven tips we've got. All right. So here are seven sales page copywriting tips to increase sales. Let's get right into it. Number one, create a strong headline and hook. Number two, sell the benefits, not just the features. Number three, turn buzzwords into promises. That's interesting. Don't underestimate the power of AI. We're going to do a demo on that in just a moment. Share social proof and testimonials. Use a limited time offer to create urgency. And finally, provide a money back guarantee to eliminate risk. Now, how do you actually put these into play? Well, it's a lot easier than you think. I'm going to show you how to use Copy AI to implement some of these tips. All right. So I'd like for you to check out the Copy AI blog. You can go to the resources on the Copy AI site or just Google search this headline. And there is an article here that'll break this down for you in detail. All right, so on the Copy AI blog, we've got this written out. And if we scan through this, you'll see some examples on ways to um, implement some of these tips. So strong headline and hook. Obviously, people are really scanning the headlines on their social media, on your website. And a great headline stops the viewer in their tracks. It draws them into your message and entices them to keep reading. It also sets the tone for the rest of your copy. So here's a couple examples. Uh, question headlines. Do you want to learn how to write better sales copy? How to, right? So promise of learning something. Numbers, like three ways. And then a benefit. Learn how to write better sales copy to increase your sales. If you don't have a catchy headline and hook, it's unlikely your readers will make it past the first paragraph. So let's try this out. A couple tips on how to do this. So within Copy AI, you can get your free account, sign up. And then what I would do is create a new project here, or you can start with the templates. Actually, let's go ahead and try a template. On the left side, open this up and you can go to website copy. And then you'll see here sales landing page. That's a good place to get started. Let's go ahead and click that and start a new project. All right, so it's going to load in a uh, pre-made template. This is using the freestyle tool. You can find that at any time. Over here in the tools on the left, there are many, many tools, including sales page uh, website copy tools over here. That can help you get going with website copy, but the freestyle tool is actually really fun to work with because it's very flexible. So you can do, um, what are you looking to create here? You can change this and be more specific if you want or change up what you're trying to write. What are the main points you want to cover? And now you just got to give it enough details about your product. So let's say um, running shoes that glow in the dark. I'm just going to make something up. Target audience, active, um, urban runners who run at night, obviously. That's who we're targeting. And features. I think we've actually covered enough here to where we'll understand, but you can add some additional details. So let's go ahead and try just sales landing page. Now what's gonna, what it's gonna do is 
you just keep it friendly in the tone. The tone can give you a lot different outputs. We'll keep it friendly. It's a good generic one to work with. So we're looking for those types of headlines to draw them in. What's cool about the sales landing page copy is it will try to do that for you, like interest them in nighttime. It's the right time to run. That's cool. We can scroll down and just get a bunch of ideas. You can almost see headlines grabbing your attention here. The way it's writing, it's, it's salesy, it's, it's interesting, it's grabbing their attention. But now you have some context of what you're looking for, the future of running. But let's go ahead and try something more specific. We are looking for a headline. I can try something like this, a list of headlines for my sales page. All right, so now I'm being more specific. The freestyle tool will give you a lot of options here. So let's try doing a list of headlines for my sales page. And again, I can give them more details if I want. Tone, I'll keep it friendly for now. Let's see what it creates. Finally, running shoes that give you the confidence to run at night. These running shoes will change how you feel about running at night. Don't let the dark stop you from getting a good workout in. <laughs> So these are very benefit driven, right? You see the benefit headline, it's doing a great job of that. So that's a quick way to go from basic details of a product to interesting headline ideas written out for you. Now it's actually giving me questions here. So you're gonna get a mixed bag of results with the freestyle tool that are um, accomplishing this, right? It understands the types of headlines that are effective and it's gonna write them for you based on whatever topic you put in. Tired of missing your turn because you can't see the right sign? Interesting. <laughs> well, that's that's an interesting one. Do you love running but hate doing it in the dark? Want to impress your friends with the shoes? How about enjoying running while protecting your knees? Interesting. Be safe, be stylish. That's a pretty good benefit-driven promise. Interesting. Run light and run bright <laughs> with Burzag shoes. So it's making up the name of the product since we don't quite know a lot of details. The end of dark days. <laughs> no more tripping on the trail. All right, so let's let's try something that, like this. A list of questions to engage the reader. All right, let's try a question headline. So depending on what you want and where you are in your sales page, you can uh, try having the AI write some different things. Now, again, if we had running shoes that go in the dark, we had more details, it would be able to pick that up and uh, dial in your messaging. You could just say something like product details or, or you know, just drop a list of things here, quick points really fast, or as you saw the template before, features, benefits are fine as well. Here we go. We got a list of questions. Are you an active urban runner who runs at night? All right, that's very specific. Do you ever feel like you could use more visibility when you run? All right, that's pretty good there. You see, like, do you want to learn how to write better sales copy? It's helping us come up with those questions really easily. Want to make sure you don't get hit by a car. There you go. While well, pounding the pavement. Very interesting line there. What if you could get light up the streets by wearing shoes that glow in the dark? Ooh, that's a cool question. Feel like you need more glow in your life? Wow, I'm very creative. All right, so there's questions. We have uh, another one here. If you want to write something more like a blog or tips, let's do a list of uh, blog titles. All right, this is going to be another way to get some headlines written up that may be more for like blogs or social media posts or tips that you could share. A list of blog titles. The same input will give it enough context to give me some interesting titles to write. Five things you need to know about glowing running shoes. <laughs> Why every runner should have a pair of glowing running shoes. We tried them out. Here are the four best glowing running shoes. So like comparison articles, the history, 10 reasons to buy our new running shoes that glow in the dark. Okay, so there we go. Number headlines, how to. Um, we haven't seen any how to's. How to run at night, there you go, and have fun doing it. So that generally you're going to see in blog titles, these how-to titles, or they call them listicles, like an article that's a list. So five reasons are the secret to your nighttime running success. So secrets, like really compelling headlines here. Eight ways to make your running shoes glow. 
there you go. That's actually a more DIY tip or just buy our new shoes if you don't want to do it the janky way. Six reasons your running shoes should glow. So it's doing a great job, right? Any topic you put in here, you can start to put a list of headlines, um, a list of titles. And just like that, we accomplish that with super creative outputs in just a few clicks. All right, next up, sell the benefits, not just the features. Okay, so this is where you can provide some uh, some general features. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up. Let's go ahead and find something that I've experimented with in the past. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Oil change, I have this example, like all these random things. Here we go. I'm gonna try experimenting with this one. So let's say it's a, a personal air purifier, right? So this tip here is sell the benefits, not just the features. So let's grab some features. Lightweight and portable. Uh, uh, uh. These are good features. So let's try this one here. If you have a list of features, pop it in here. And features are great and they're needed, but what's the real benefit of your product? That can be hard to write out in an interesting way. So let's try a personal Just put in the um, the product here. Now the target audience, let's say, um, I don't know, let's say moms, like for like a, if you're targeting moms, let's just do that, keep it pretty simple. Now we're gonna come up with a list of benefits of the product, all right? So if you wanna get a list, try doing that. Maybe that'll help you rattle off a few points to get the creativity flowing. All right, so this first one, not helpful. Let's see why you'll love portable. Make, okay, here we go. This is a little bit better. So I like to scroll down. You're gonna get several outputs for uh, every time you click create copy. And our personal air, fryer, air purifier makes you feel like a superhero, especially if you're a mom's lightweight portable. So you see this, so you can. That's a really good transition. So you're highlighting the feature, but then you can move into the benefits by saying, so you can take it with you wherever your mom adventures take you. Interesting. Your kids will be safe from the germs, right? That's a more of a benefit. Detachable air quality. Da, da, da. Make sure your family is protected. You won't have to worry about batteries dying in the middle of the day. There's the benefit. So it's taking the features and helping me describe in a way that's more beneficial, more benefit driven. So if we look at our article here, communicate the product's benefits, uh, maybe make your sales page resonate with potential customers. So it's actually great, long battery life. What does that mean? Oh, uh, now I don't have to worry about it, uh, you know, dying in the middle of the day. Highlight the pain points. Ooh, interesting. So let's go ahead and do pain points. Let's try that out. Um, a list of pain points and actually really dig into great features, product, target audience, but what are the pain points of that customer? This is powerful on your sales page or any of your marketing or ad copy. Let's see, keeping our family safe, attach with our and carry it around. You'll be able to don't worry about germs. All right, let's see. Hard, hard to keep your kids safe. It's really dialing into the pain points that a mom might have. Peace of mind. Struggle with, okay, here we go. Allergies. Having to vacuum the house constantly. There you go. Pain points. To lug around a heavy air purifier. All right. It actually got it right there. So then a few scrolls, boom, we've got a good list of pain points for this product. Okay, you've been known uh, to forget or turn off. Interesting, so the smart features may turn off automatically. 
you worry about germs and bacteria. We have little ones running around. There you go. You wish you had some way you could quickly check. Nice. All right. So it's given us some ideas here. Keep your air clean. If you're still struggling too. See, it's given us a lot of ideas. So that's one way to get some pain points and benefits. Uh, really, you could just put even a sales letter. This is really creative because it'll get it'll start to combine a bunch of these elements. So you can keep it really simple and just put a sales letter and it'll start to do a lot of these things for you. So we can create copy here again, some features, but naturally the AI understands some of these things you want to do, uh, the ways to make your sales copy better. So a sales letter will actually start to talk to the customer. Know you're busy, right? It's going right into pain points. Know your life's become a constant juggle between work, family. All right. So they come with being superwoman, but here, uh, something new in your life, a little something that will make balancing all those plates a little bit easier. <laughs> I mean, that's really interesting. You see how it's going to a pain point, capturing their interest. Don't let the tiny size fool you. This little guy works hard. It kills 99% of germs. So it's really selling the heck out of this product. So if you have kids with allergies, you see how it starts to weave in the benefits into those problems. So it's really selling in a way that's beyond um, the simple features. Now it's helping you, if you're worried about pollution levels uh, outdoors, you have the accurate information. So it's thinking that the smart features will have a sensor can like give you information. If that's not true, you know, give it more details about the product. Interesting. So you get so many creative ways of selling something using AI. All right. So talking about pain points, moving into the benefits of the features. Let's check out this one. Turn buzzwords into promises. Jobs to tell people the value of your brand and why they should be interested in doing business with you. While good storytelling requires unique angles and descriptive adjectives, that's not your job on the sales page. We'll only distract the main selling points. Let's see here. Replace supercharged results with promise like speed. All right. So a clear promise is what we're looking for here. Active community, more specific. Buzzwords distract readers from the content, make it harder to understand. This is a good point. So being more specific, let's try, um, how can we get some of those specific headlines here? Let's try uh, maybe specific reasons to buy this product. We have a lot of details here. So in this case, it's probably going to work pretty well. Let's try a different product. I'm going to try something different. So product, uh, an app that helps you. Let's see here. Eight sales copy. Target audience, entrepreneurs, AI. Okay, so let's try something like that. Specific reasons that may be helpful. If we're looking for increased sales, um, 5,000 active users, the promise like speed, accuracy. So let's see what it comes up with. We want more specific reasons. Instant review of your work with suggestions on how to prove it. A vast library of content has been built to convert customers. You see, these are specific benefits, selling points. It's actually going very detailed here with different use cases, right? It'll even come up with that examples, which are really even more dialed in. Help you save money because you don't have to pay for copywriters. You can easily get sales copy for any new product you want to sell. It helps you find the best format for your ad. You can always add your own words. So it's never robotic. Those are great. I feel like instead of generic, uh, broad ideas, it's actually very specific and describing what it does. So again, we just put in a random product and now we're getting specific reasons to buy backed by the latest research helps you write more emotive, persuasive tone. It's been written by copywriting experts, simple and easy to use. It's great value for money. I like these. It can be hard. You need to make it easier to read Buy what you want. Cool. So I think right there is a really good way of using the AI. If you're looking for more specific reasons, again, you can just tell the AI, can you help me come up with some specific reasons to buy this product? 
let's continue on. Don't underestimate the power of AI. Well, that's what this demo is for. I'm showing you how you can quickly get these ideas written out or at least brainstorm different ways of selling your product by using AI. Share social proof and testimonials. So this is really powerful here. Let's take a look at some of the tips here. Obviously, you want your testimonials to relate to the real benefits of the product. Powerful way to show others you've been... Um, I've been delighted with their purchase. Da, 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 da. Obviously, we know that, but let's let's go ahead and make up uh, a customer testimonial. If you're struggling to get your customers to write reviews or testimonials for you, this is a great way to get it done. Write it for them, and then send it to them and ask them for their permission to post it. So now you can give it some details of uh, some of the key things you want it to be focused on or leave it wide open. In this case, we're giving it very little information. Let's see what it comes up with. It's going to write testimonials for you. Business that sells widgets. All right. It's making a friend told me about the buzz, the story behind it. Help me get all the content from my website written up in less than a day. Now people are actually buying my products. I don't even have to write about them. It's pretty powerful right there. So if you're looking for ways, again, I like the testimonials as well for imagining different ways to explain it or sell it in this way the ai is actually writing from your customer's perspective just tell it to write a testimonial for you and you're going to get super creative ways of selling it a lot of pressure my experience so it's coming up with like pain points <laughs> i'm going to scroll down to another one i'm just a normal guy <laughs> <laughs> they gave me suggestions and tips. Help me make my copy stand out. If you don't understand something, I could click on it. So it's getting more detail into potentially what the app does. Again, it doesn't really quite know. I didn't give it a lot of details, but it's doing a dang good job of selling this imaginary app, which is actually basically copy AI. You may even come up with ways to improve your product or service by reading through these made up testimonials. It's like a sales copywriting ninja. So some of these could be like big quotes you put on your sales page and they don't have to be from a customer. They could be from you, right? It's like a sales copywriting ninja. Like you don't have to use it in the context of it being a customer testimonial. It could just be great headlines or big uh, benefits that you pull out. It's a tool you need to write a killer sales page and write it for you. Um, it's got everything from landing page. So I can use the same copy for all my different marketing efforts without sacrificing quality. And if you don't have time to write my own sales page, you can just hand it over to the app and let it do the heavy lifting. It really cuts down on my stress and made my life as an entrepreneur so much easier. Like that line is really great. Again, as a testimonial, that would be pretty amazing or just a headline to grab their attention. It'll make your life, um, it'll cut down on your stress and make your life so much easier. Those are really powerful statements to make. So finishing up here, Use limited time copy to create urgency. Uh, what was it? Limited time offer. So let's go ahead and try doing that. Uh, we'll do a special promo. Uh, let's do like 10% off for a limited time. So let's do a promotion. Let's do promotional let's just say sales copy it'll handle it because now we're giving it enough context to know that there's a special promo and you could even try using different tones here you can have some fun with the tone if you want to match your brand voice a little bit better or speak more directly to your ideal customer a lot of these tones you can make it up you can type in whatever you want right here and then create your own tone or choose the pre-built tones let's go ahead and do persuasive maybe good in this case we're really trying to move them into action so adding some special discount, limited time offer, obviously is a good way to get them to take action. And you can scroll through and see, you know, it's gonna give you a lot of general sales copy. This is pretty interesting. You might have a bunch of ideas for your business, but don't know how to get it started. Da -da -da. We can help with that. All right, so it's giving us general sales copy, but you can also just glance and find those specific things that you need. Maybe it's that CTA to get 10% off. Give it a try. Okay, let's see if there's something more specific. 
If not, check this out. There's templates on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at social media content and you'll find right here, discount or special promotion. So if you wanna try that, you could uh, click on that and start there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this content so I can save that because it's gonna swap it out. So I'm gonna go back into templates and let's go ahead and try the social media content discount or special promotion. And we'll just update the current project. Discount social media post. All right, this is great. So now it's giving me enough context to give the AI the information it needs. What I'm gonna do is product, target audience, promo, how to claim. Click here to get, uh, let's just do use promo code uh, summer, right? Something like that. Friendly's fine, let's try that out. So now, it's using the same tool and I could have done that myself, but this this is a great way to start to learn how to use Copy AI, especially the freestyle tool that'll let you write pretty much anything you need. Use those templates as a starting point. And now it's gonna give you like, oh, I could say a discount social media post. We'll dial it in more. Here you go. Right now we're offering 10% on the normal price. Again, you can use that on social media or your sales page. So this is how to get it written up. No string is just promo code when you sign up. We know it's a tough time for everyone. <laughs> Interesting. It's empathizing with potentially tough times. Um, let's see. We know you're working hard to make your dreams a reality, and we're here to help you with every step of the process. That's why we're offering 10% off for a limited time. Just use promo code to claim your discount. Then it's describing it. So a lot of stuff to work with here. Go ahead, click here, and grab it. That could be an email, social media post, or sales page copy. Done. You've just created urgency, right? So join $1. Obviously you can just easily write something like that, but if you want to promote that special, that urgency, now you, you can whip it up a beautiful post just like that. And finally a money back guarantee. Let's just actually grab this. You've all seen the guarantees. There's not a lot of magic secret sauce here, but sometimes writing that up can be tough. Let's see what we come up with here a money back guarantee to eliminate risk. I'm gonna go ahead and do the app, the target audience, and create copy. Let's see what it comes up with. Money back guarantee to eliminate risk. If you're not sure how to get started with the copy, use Copy AI to get that first draft and even brainstorm ideas. Um, da, 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 we'll give you a full, if you don't think is the best AI writing assistant for sales copy on the market, we'll give you a full refund. No questions asked. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. We're so confident. Our app will help you write sales copy that we offer hundred percent ironclad money back guarantee. If you don't see results or simply don't like the app, just let us know and we'll refund your purchase in full. There you go. It's so many ideas. It's studied 10% of the internet. It knows what's out there. It's crunched it through a supercomputer. It's going to apply this directly to your business and your industry, your target customer. It takes all these variables into account and writes from scratch when you click create copy. So just like that, we have successfully gone through the seven sales page copywriting tips to increase sales, strong headline, sell the benefits, not just the features, turn buzzwords into promises of more detailed clarity. Uh, use AI to brainstorm and come up with some of the different ways of saying this. Using AI, so cool. Share social proof and testimonials. Use a limited time offer to create urgency and provide a guarantee. Pretty awesome. So thank you guys for all the reviews. If you haven't done so, drop a uh, review on the Facebook page and a new winner is randomly selected every Friday to win a free year of Copy AI. Just go to Copy AI on Facebook and drop a public review. If you haven't already done so, sign up. Try it for free. You can get your free account of Copy AI. Create original content for your business in just a few clicks. So sign up now. Put in some basic information about your business and watch what happens. You can even make up a product and watch it sell it for you right there from scratch. That's when you're really going to see the magic of how powerful the AI is. Experiment, explore, and have some fun with it. That's all for today. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you all. If you have any questions, uh, we'll be back again soon with more demos. So you can subscribe on YouTube. Join the Facebook group, Copy AI official Facebook group. 
for uh, updates and you can ask questions there. There's a great community of almost 10,000 entrepreneurs now who are using Copy AI to write copy for their business. So that's all for now. Until next time, happy writing and take care. Peace.